right, I'm going to be straight with you. I already did a live comp for this game, and I'm doing a post comp. So this is a post commentary because, well, the series deserves to have commentary. So this is a bit awkward for me. Already having put in the time, there's a penalty to start this game off. It's going to be an elbow to Vladimir Tarasenko. And it's interesting, I already know how this game played out. I'm not going to spoil anything right now. I just can't believe it. I put in the time and the effort to do a live commentary for this. The audio, when I exported it, something got janked. And there was no way to fix it. So we're just, we're doing this again. So we're to the early power play. See if we, uh, see if we can strike on this one. New barrier clear. Druin drops for Natchez. An ill-intended pass taken away by Jenner and cleared. Pretty sure we get to play this behind the net. We do. And then rim it right up the glass to Boone Jenner. And then he sends it right back behind the net. So brilliant play there, Vince. Oh my God. And this is this, all of this while shorthanded. I love whenever I put in the time to do a video live with a live com. And then it just, it, the audio gets screwed up. And then I got to put in double the effort. It's basically doing double the work. So in case you're wondering why a video didn't go out over Memorial Day weekend, that's why. This was recorded prior to Memorial Day weekend. And then right before I took my little Memorial Day weekend holiday break, I went to go edit this video and I realized that the audio didn't fully export for some reason. Who knows what went on with the export process. But I basically, I didn't have any audio for this. And that's a phenomenal save by Ronta. Great save on the back door. Second look at Ronta's save that he made here. Malkin to the back door looking for the feed. He could have shot it here, held onto it for a second. And then Ronta with all that net exposed makes an excellent stop on Seth Jarvis, former teammates. But anyway, this is, this is double the work whenever you have to do a post com. It's not the first time I've had to do a post commentary. There have been a, there's a video that I uploaded back in NHL 22 where I just didn't have the time to uh, to do a post commentary and I uploaded one without commentary or something like that happened. I can't remember what the situation was there. But either way, it's double the work and this was supposed to go out over Memorial Day weekend and then I just I got too busy and I didn't have the time to do a post commentary. So I'm having to do this. Oh my God, <laughs> what in the world? Tarasenko walking in, it's wide of the net. Oh my God, that, all kinds of chaotic stuff going on. You haven't even seen the last of it in this game. So I do apologize. This was supposed to go up over the weekend. I was supposed to get a couple of videos out, in fact, and then just, and then the commentary issue popped up and there was, I just didn't have a chance to fix it. So we'll try to make up for it by doing a couple of days in a row of videos. We'll upload a few videos in a row for the week, for this week and basically make up for the fact that we didn't get anything out over Memorial Day holiday. Save off Krebs. It's there covered and played out to Meyer on the wing. Yeah, I just straight up, I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not in the mood to do this post commentary, so it's not gonna be the most thrilling of commentary. I'm kind of tired this morning. I'm doing it this morning. And uh, yeah, I just, I'd rather, rather not do this. Penalty's been taken. It's going to be by the Sabres. So the Hurricanes going to yet another power play. Second one of the game. Peyton Krebs for hooking. So I'm not sure how we're going to do this. This could just be one of those episodes I kind of quick cut up just to show you the basic action of the game. It's fetched with a blast and it's tipped in by Jonathan Druin. How about that? A shot from the point and it's deflected home with the net from presence from number 92. Planted in front, I believe. Yeah, planted in front. Nice deflection. So we grab the early advantage, scoring on the power play with the man advantage. And now Vlad Tarasenko dishes the Cousins and a rebound and the Sabres answer immediately. Vlad Tarasenko. So basically there's just not a whole lot I can do about this. I was more enraged than I am right now, of course, when I did this in real time. But basically, there's nothing I could have done. Save, rebound. I, I would have preferred to have controlled the rebound better, but Tarasenko grabs it from basically below the goal line and shovels it into the net. So 
Don't fault me for the first goal. All right, so Buffalo's got this thing immediately evened up at one goal apiece. Haven't played half the first period. Kept in by Darlene. That'll be a save. Nice save on the blocker side. Now we got Johnny Gaudreau, who is in Buffalo. That's been the case for a while now. That's not a new thing. He's been here for, for a few seasons, at least since season three, I believe. That was a bad pass by Morrissey, but we will get a break on that. Druin pulling back. Down low to Natchez. Loose to Druin. And he will pull up. Looks for an option. Quinn. But it was blocked down. Everyone for the Sabres getting a touch on this play. Intercepted by Morrissey. The feed from Tarasenko. Meyer handed off to Domi. He scores. Max Domi. And has Max Domi had a start here to season five? His fifth of the year already. This guy is a machine. He can't be stopped. So Max Domi restores the one goal lead for the Hurricanes. Second of the game, fifth of the season for Max Domi. First of the game for Max Domi, not the second of the game for Max Domi. Second of the game for the team as a whole. And let's try not to let the Sabres even it up right away. Shoots, but Morrissey has that taken care of. Meyer back to D'Angelo down low. Great passing, and Max Domi, now he has his second of the game. Well, this was just an excellent clinic in passing from the Hurricanes. One, two, touch and into the back door. And now we have our first two goal advantage of this game. Getting a taste of that three to one lead. Peyton Krebs will cut back, pass off the Skinner. That went way over the net. Having to work hard to make this breakout play happen and he will. Oh my God, Ratcliffe very close to scoring. That was a turnover at the blue line. The Sabres almost converted. Which side are they going to go out on? Ratcliffe, this one misses as well, but he missed the other side of the net this time. Newberry to Krebs, save, short side. Poked back into me, and just, I would cover this up, and I think we did. Cousins, down low to Tarasenko. This is getting dangerous, getting really dangerous. Hurricanes with possession in the attacking zone. It's going to spit out the center, though as the seconds tick away to end a very solid first period of play for the Hurricanes. And a penalty was called before the horn could sound. The Sabres look like they will go on a power play. So there was indeed a late period penalty taken by the Hurricanes. And so this sets the Sabres up to start the second period on the power play. I follow. We've got it right by the ear into the glove. Power to Tarasenko. Save. Rebound. And we just get a paw on it, and we will take another face off. Brace yourselves for the Sabres power play. They got a couple X Factor players, one of them in Coutreau, who we made a save on there. More from the Sabres power play coming here. Power exchanges with Tarasenko. He's going to walk it in front. Coutreau, we'd make a desperate diving leap at it, but as we did that, D'Angelo flipped it out of play. This is going to be delay of game to the Hurricane, so a five on three coming up for the Sabres. So the Hurricanes penalty troubles continue up in Buffalo, New York here. Olofsson sa saved by myself. And we're at a long, a decent length five on three here for the Sabres as well. Olofsson blocked. We should be able to get this out. I would prefer when I'm in the net that this team doesn't take too many five on three penalties. These are some of the most difficult situations to deal with as a goaltender obviously being that there's three guys in front of me to defend the penalty kill well, i said defend the penalty kill i meant defend the power play but i'm super tired while i'm doing this commentary but i feel like one way or, an, or another it's got to get done and uh, i'm just trying to do the i'm trying to do the basics so just bear with me through this game control that went off of tarasenko and bounced out of play period five shots to start the period for the Sabres, there's the blast from Tarasenko. He has his second of the game. And that brings the Sabres one step closer to tying it. Of course, on the five on three. I mean, what do you expect? It's a five on three. Backdoor one-time play from an X-Factor player. I don't even know what his X-Factor is, but boy, was that Howard third into the back of the net. That one was not. That was also Vladimir Tarasenko. And Ryan Graves has decided to take another penalty. So right back into the box for another five on three situation. This is the kind of stuff that makes you consider a trade request. This is going to make me have to think about one. At least have a long, long pause and thought about a trade request. Tarasenko right back in. I'm going to have nightmares about that one-timer. I gave that up easily. I, put, I just pulled myself off the short side. But it's a five on three. Once again, what are you expecting? I mean, this team 
gets into penalty trouble like this too frequently this season. I mean, this is just a shambles. Just a shambles to start the second period. Oh, and that was nearly delay of game by D'Angelo. This is, oh my God. <laughs> nearly put that in off the cheek. And we are victorious on the faceoff. Can we be victorious for the game and for the penalty kill? I have follow shooting, trying to shoot. Oh my God, that was an unfortunate bounce. It went right to Johnny Gaudreau. Got blocked down. Brutal. And that's what I was talking about. When I said, I, I don't remember if I said get ready at the beginning, beginning of this game, but that's what I meant if I did say that. I don't even remember what I said when I started this post-com, but yeah, this, uh, this, is one of those, this was just one of those games. I believe that's like three power play goals now. Three of them have been scored on the power play for the Sabres. And uh, when you don't get that kind of help from the team in front of you, it's hard to do your job as a goaltender. Oh my God, a decimating hit. To Connor Murphy at the blue line, he had tried to keep it in. See more from Johnny Gaudreau and the Sabres attack. Back door, we just got a glove on that. Just did. This can't be, that's a phenomenal save by Ronta. This can't be the same team that went to the Stanley Cup final just a, a season ago. Doesn't feel like the same team. Doesn't look like the same team. Most of the core is still intact here. But uh, even though we're, there, there were some changes in the offseason, but most of the, the main pieces of that team are still here. And of course you got me in the net. I'm the biggest piece of all. Cousins, save rebound. We got both of those chances. That was a nice sequence for us. When your team's not having a good game in front of you and, and I wouldn't even say that I'm having a terrible game here. I mean, you gotta think about the chances I've had to face and the saves I've had to attempt to make. It has not been easy. It's been anything but easy in this game. But when your team's not playing great in front of you, Sometimes as a goaltender, it's just about making those timely saves and it's about the big saves you do make to keep your team in it. So we're keeping our team to a one goal game now. The key is that we don't go to any more five on three penalty kills because it's almost a slam dunk goal for the opposition, especially when they have a, almost a full two minutes of five on three opportunity. Might want to consider getting the puck to number 13. He's got that magic touch tonight. Getting dominated in the faceoff dot too. So we're just... <laughs> Just getting dominated everywhere. We're taking dumb penalties. Can't win a face-off. We're letting the Sabres bring it right up the ice. Go figure. Another penalty for the Hurricanes in this game. Man, I'll tell you the frustration I was feeling in the live commentary that I was doing at this point. You don't even want to know. This was not a rage quit game. It got close to that point. But I mean, <laughs> you can just see for yourself. Control to Teresinko. And I felt like we kind of had a chance on that one. And also the disrespect, popping the water bottle on that shot. And then it's a hat trick as well. There you go, the hat trick for Tarasenko. Rough game. I mean, when the D is just given that much time and that much space to players like that, you can't point fingers at the goaltender for that. Look at this, he's got it again. This team, well, get a power play. This team can't take penalties like that. It just can't take penalties like that this season. The thing is, it was so lopsided in penalties in this game. It was unbelievably lopsided, not just in terms of penalties called, but in terms of power play success rate in this game. And did we make a smart decision? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I flipped this up. I got angry. I was like, screw this. And it goes off the post. So I'm going to explain this while we're having our little goalie fight. I got frustrated. I'm like, screw it. We're having a bad game. I'm ticked off. I'm going to do something cheap. I'm going to throw it and try to bait Ronson to come out of the net. Skate it up to the blue line, flip it down the ice. And, you know, if it goes in, then it goes in. But it, it almost did. It went right off the post. We'll see it in the replay in a second. I'm pretty sure I smashed Ronta's face in here. Didn't want to fight Ronta because he's a nice guy. But we win the fight. We got to get the team fired up because they're playing like absolute garbage in front of us. All right, so this is one of those sequences. I wish I had the live commentary for this genuinely. But... I just, I just got frustrated to the point that I was willing to do this. It almost paid off. You're going to see how close this came to going in the net. I have come very close on two occasions in this career mode to scoring a goalie goal. And this is totally cheap. I, I know this is totally cheap. I wouldn't normally do this. But, you know, if, if I get a game that just pisses me off so much to the point that I'm willing to do this, I just skate it up to the blue line. You're going to see as soon as you get to a certain point, the AI goalie comes out of the net. And then you, if you time it right, you can throw it as he's coming out to be drawn into a fight and he leaves the net wide open. Now it's going to go right under the skate as he lifts that leg up 
And this is gonna going right off the post. It couldn't have gone any more square off the post. So if my aim was just a touch better, I would have had a goal and it would have counted. It would have 100% counted. Look at Josh Morrissey. He's like, man, this guy is psychotic. <laughs> All right, so following that crazy sequence, we nearly scored the goalie goal. Let's try to get our team back in it with a power play. Who knows? And we'll just play this. Should we go up there and shoot it on, uh, on Ron? I'm just kidding. I won't do that again. If I do that, that's like a once every once a game thing. It's only a one time. I get one shot at it per game if a game goes south. It's one of those things I'm only going to do it if a game goes south. And uh, this game isn't even really that bad. It's it's it, we're still in it. It's a two goal game at this point at this juncture of the game. But it just it's one of those games that frustrates you as a goalie because you're not getting much help. I mean, I'm telling you, if there's a blowout game, I'm 100% going to skate it up there and cheese it toward an open net like that. I wouldn't prefer, if I do get a goalie goal in this series, I don't prefer that I get it that way. That's not the fashion I want to get it in. I'd rather kind of have like an empty net scenario where they pull their netminder or something and it's something wild like that. I came very close to scoring like that against Dallas back in season four. But... I'm gonna do what I'll do whatever I have to do in this series. I'm ultimately I'm here to have fun. That's the the ultimate objective at the end of the day is have fun with this series. And damn it, I'm gonna have fun. If I can't have fun, then what is the point in recording this, you know? Dylan Cousins dropped off to Olufsen. We got the save. Final five seconds, one shot from Murphy or Meyer or Larkin. Someone just get one on net and Rontz makes the save at the horn. So we're still in the game, entering the third period of play. Might be down by two, but still in the game. We get a quick one early. Then you never know how this can play out. The key for us is staying out of the freaking penalty box. So me and editing, just we're just going to do this as, as quick as possible. I want to get through this period as quick as possible because I'm not feeling this post comms. So. so me and editing, just cut up the clips, only show what's necessary, just a necessary action. For this third period of play, it shouldn't be too much. Penalty taken by the Hurricanes. <laughs> Way to open up the third period, guys. My never-ending suffering is, uh, well, it's truly never-ending. The Sabres are 4 for 4 on the power play. They nearly went 5 for 5. Oh. <laughs> Guess who that was? Tarasenko. Yeah, not, not scoring on that occasion. He almost had number 4. Connor Murphy harassed, and that's going to create a turnover. Olufsen, I can't believe we made a save on a breakaway, an actual breakaway save off of a dumb turnover by Connor Murphy. Download two. Oh, we made another save. Who was that? Was that a... That was Jack Quinn. That's who that was. Jack Quinn, a nice save on Quinn. Passes off to Olufsen, blocked away. And the Sabres taking a penalty, so they've negated their own power play with all of two seconds left on it. To Jenner, Boone Jenner, rebound, save, no second chance opportunity. Flip down, I'm gonna play this. I should be playing this because you guys haven't earned the right to have your goaltender come out and slow the puck down so you don't have to skate the full length of the ice. You haven't earned that privilege in this game. Just a weak, nothing power play for the Hurricanes. Needed that to get back in the game, of course. Would have cut the deficit to just one goal again. Drop back and a save by Ronta. Johnny Hockey to Quinn, blocker save, back to the point, Uyghur, it's laying in the crease in front of us, Hurricanes finally have it in the attacking zone after a long stretch of play without being able to get possession or get it over the attacking blue line, Larkin again blockered away by Ronta, oh my, that was dangerous, we just steered away, Svech had it, Sabres were changing but we couldn't catch them changing, Olsen gets right back to it. Newberry to Uyghur. Stick lifted back to center. Sabres fans cheering their team on. They have completely dominated this game. Looked great on the power play. And they are going to take victory. What a shameful performance for our team. And a lack of discipline just completely killed us in this one. And Buffalo wins 5-3. to three. Ugh, There's just nothing to describe that game. Our team... Played like a complete dumpster fire. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could put a literal dumpster fire on the ice for that game, and it would have played better than the entirety of our team. Would have definitely had better discipline. 
So season five rolls on and we will play our second home game of the season. This is the team's seventh game. This will be my fifth game played on the season, my fifth start on the season. It hasn't gone too hot for us so far. Or is this my third? This is my fourth start of the season. I've had four appearances, so apparently one of those four games played up there in the right hand corner is a game that I came in in relief for Nadelkovic. I don't know which game that was. The game does that. I have no control over that. But we want to pick it up against the San Jose Sharks and try to stay out of the penalty box. That would be a great start for our team. Oh boy. Here we go. Right back at home against the San Jose Sharks. And in the early going in this season, I don't have a lot of faith in the team in front of me, defensively speaking at least, because we have had a quite a few meltdowns. The first pair has not been helping, unfortunately, and that is the best pair that we have. The D'Angelo-Josh Morrissey pairing. The biggest issue that we ran into up in Buffalo, which was our previous start and might be part of the same episode, is we ran into penalty trouble. We just could not stay out of the box. Buffalo went like four for five on the power play, so we can't do that again against the San Jose Sharks. Teravainen lugs it into the attacking zone. The former Hurricane back in Raleigh. We played the Sharks both times we faced them. I got both starts against San Jose last season in season four. We'll see if that's the case. In season five, we're getting a start at home against the Sharks. So here come the Sharks in transition. Oh my God, that was dangerous. I, I hate when this puck just rolls toward you like that because there's not a whole lot you can do. I guess you could go paddle down or spread eagle or what have you to try and prevent it from going in. Look at Marchesso. He is guiding the Sharks attack early on in this game. Lots of turnovers early in the game for both teams, really. But especially on our side of things. Merkley off the crossbar and it goes in. What in the hell's going on to start this game? I'm telling you, we are having so many defensive breakdowns this season. Morrissey goes to play hurdle, which is fine. But what are we doing? Like, where is where is Tony D'Angelo on this play? He goes to the middle. He collapses really low. But he, he leaves Merkley to just walk right in here. Look at the space in the slot he has all the time to, to even make a move right here. Forehand, backhand. Shoots it over my blocker side. It hits the crossbar behind me, pops straight up. I'm stuck in that stupid seated animation again, and it's going to fall right behind me. Watch it and trickle right over the goal line before I can do anything about it. And the breaks just continue to not fall in my favor. That was, there's, is there anything I could have done about that last one? I mean, off the, whoa, great glove. Love the reaction time on that one. I mean, was there anything that could have been done about the puck hitting the crossbar, falling behind me. Could I, I mean, there was really, I was kind of just a passenger on that play, at least me controlling the goalie, me in the real world. And I guess my passenger in the game world was also a, goal, uh, a goalie, <laughs> a passenger as well. I told you, I don't have a ton of, of confidence in this D, the way that this defense plays. And I'm starting to lack the confidence in my goaltender's ability on some level as well. Clearly, something feels different. Something just doesn't, feel the same the team is a little bit different but the core is mostly intact we're coming back with a lot of the same group that we had in season five with some differences oh my god i'll tell you it is rough out here right now it is rough out here two guys going back door where are we defensively on this play we leave it exposed josh morrissey not even making an attempt to cover this playoff hartman shoots save cover that Control the rebound here better. We don't rebound off of my glove. My guy can't adjust in time. Hurdle shoots it. We're trying to get over. It hits us and into the net. I have a love-hate relationship with this game. And, and the love part doesn't even really exist anymore. So it's just basically an entirely hate-based relationship with this game. Thank you, Seth Jarvis, for finally showing up for the offense. That's great. Wish I could get some help defensively. I mean, we are just having, we have had one breakdown after another. And this is Coach LaBelle's team still. We know he's still here now. We've had an interaction with Coach LaBelle. So what happened to 
the trap based system we were running last year i mean does that i swear if there's another bounce that goes right to an ai team player and into my net i'm gonna lose my brain hole there probably is a, a hole where my brain is supposed to be so maybe that line actually does make some sense here we go another sharks play off a of transition where is the defense at at all in this game where where is it gone i can just feel it already where the line score is teetering on being a starter as it is right now and by season's end i don't even i think my line score is going to be so far in the negative before even christmas time i'm going to probably be forced into a trade before this season is even done just want to see a shot yeah, just want to see it cleanly i mean we've got seven minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first period we've given up two goals on just purely bad bounces this is that's been the early part of this whole season it's just been a, a season of bad bounces i mean if there's one piece of good news about being in an early season hole it's that at least you can dig out of the hole you have a whole whole season ahead of you to potentially get out of that out of the mess that we've dug ourselves into i guess i'm acting like it's the end of the world i'm just mostly frustrated more than anything because i know how hard it is to work to become the starting goaltender for an organization in this video game universe and that if you do fall out of favor in the line score you're not a starter in the playoffs it's it is really cutthroat trying to be the starter in the playoffs in this game because it's just the way that ea have the coaches set up we got our first we got our first taste of playoff games uh last last season please defend it well here oh that's interference that is, i still made the save at the top of my crease but did, we took the penalty are you kidding me well i thought there might be a penalty for goaltender interference because they bumped right into me but it's actually lindell that pushed him into me and here we go penalty killing time couldn't even get out of the first period without stepping foot in the penalty box save rebound probably should recover to my feet it's probably easier and defended but kept in by yanni gord down low hartman to whoever that is blocker save i don't want to pronounce your name dropped off to hartman missed the net oh look at this d'angelo in on the four check i don't know if i like that but the retrieval means we might get a goal out of this shorthanded i love that that yeah, that's the one time that going for it aggressively while killing a penalty might have nearly paid off Gord. Im over to Hartman, and I got a cover right here. I want to make sure we can get a breath. Mintyukov, we'll just call him Im. So if he touches the puck for the rest of this game, we're just going to refer to him as Im because I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the last name correctly. That should be out of the zone. Really, the goal for me right now is just get out of the first period, which we're, we're in route to doing that. But... Oh my god, where where in the world was that shot going? And I think we are going to get out of the period. Bonus if we tie it with time winding down, but we won't. Tara Vinen, will there be a shot? No, because the Sharks have it in the neutral zone. And it's going to be taken away by Larkin before the horn sounds. And we're I'm, I'd say we're kind of lucky to only be trailing by a goal after that first period of play. We need to be really clean from here to the end of the game. I'm going to leave that for my defensemen. I think they've got this. I mean, I could be an absolute mad lad and come out and play it and risk everything, but we're only starting the second period of play here, and we're only down by a goal. I think we're pretty fortunate to have not given up more than two in that first period of play, it's just the way we played defensively. Now, we need to spend a little more time in the attacking zone, which we're looking good for. Rebound goal for Jonathan Druin, and he went right to the doorstep. Well, we started the period off right, started on time we got a puck to the net we got to a rebound and we have the game tied at two early in the second that is the kind of response we needed maybe they had a stern talking to from coach labelle in the intermission and these guys have shown up to play in the second period they know they got to start playing for their goaltender look at this i mean you should always play for your goalie i'm the best player on this team you got to play for me i'm the reason you guys might make the postseason i mean the only reason we didn't win a stanley cup is because we literally got out goaltended by Jack Campbell. Of all goaltenders, it had to be Jack Campbell. Oh, I will never get over the fact that we got out goaltended by Jack Campbell. This is going to roll all the way down to me. So I've got a guy right there. Hurdle. Oh, nice save. Spetch to a wide open Druin. Does he have a teammate back door? It doesn't matter. Down low. Rebound. Oh, there's so many rebounds. That's what we got to start doing. We got to shoot for more of those. 
because if we're shooting high and we're picking the corners, he's going to make the saves. March so will bring it again. Passes off Tara Vine in. Right here, we got that. Looked right in. 12 period shots at two? Are you serious? What an adjustment for our team. We've only given up two shots in the entirety of the second period, which is quite an adjustment. We just hit the post, so that's not going to count as a shot on up for the Hurricanes. Back door, and it can't be stuffed. KK from the half wall across to a wide open Liddell, but the toe drag move has not paid off. Look at this. Hartman with a burst of speed. Hartman on a basically a... Whoa. Okay, all kinds of weird things are going on right now. I never... Ended up having to deal with a shot out of all of that. I bit really hard on Hartman's net drive. And then he passed it off at the last moment. I don't even know fully what happened on that play. It'll be fun for me in the future to watch that one back. Sharks under pressure in their own zone. And a massive save by Kak. And then that keeps this game even. Love it. My defensemen are starting to figure out how to defend off the rush. It's like they went right back to hockey school during the intermission. One of the coaches during the intermission pulled up the basics of defense on YouTube or something, defenseman basics. And just was like, guys, you need to get back to basics. Refigure this stuff out. Turbo over to Marches. So, oh my God. Oh, what a save. Oh my God. I was moving like something that moves a lot. <laughs> and then I got back in time to just make the save. I realized it was going to the point. You see here the drive from Tara Vine and pass off to the middle. Who is this? Marcia So? Yeah, he's been humming in this game. And uh, he drops it off at the last moment. Now, I do too much of an adjustment. Look at all the net I give to foot. But watch my pushback across. Legendary stuff. And we make an arm save. That is huge. Over the blue line. Stick checked. And then Hartman. We steal it away with a glove. And we're going to hopefully... Kill the clock before the period can end. Just get it down into that end of the ice. And just, uh, once again, get out of a period, which we will do at an even score of 2-2. Two to two. Well, I'm very proud of ourselves because we've, we've done a great job to figure things out. We held the Sharks scoreless in the second period of play. We tied the game in the second period of play. And we, we stayed out of the penalty box. It's just little things like that. Little adjustments, micro adjustments throughout the game. And now we got to keep it up for a whole period of play. A whole nother third period of play. Go get that and be responsible with it. Why would you skate backwards to it, D'Angelo? Oh, <laughs> what a hit. Teravinen is still recollecting himself after he got completely destroyed on those left side boards. The, the boards to my left in the neutral zone. Benson save. We're leaving the rebound there to Hurdle. Uh-oh. Oh, my God goodness oh my goodness what a phenomenal save on a breakaway we needed that more than ever what a pass from ferraro he finds his teammate hurdle streaking through the middle he basically splits the d well not really i mean this play forced both defensemen into an awkward spot and then look who gets free to chase this down it's benson he has it pulls it up on the forehand i'm freaking out i have no idea what I need to do. Do I spread eagle? No. We just stack the pads. I think we make a hip save. And then we just lay there keeping it out above the goal line. I don't know what happens after the fact here. I think we just end up spitting it out underneath us because it's it's somewhere in there. I just I don't know where it is. There it is. You see it under under the armpit. This is all kinds of chaos going on. And it it rolls out underneath me and forked wide into the corner. So uh, that might be <laughs> that might be the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, that save on Benson is absolutely a top moment in this series, especially considering the score of the game and the circumstances of making that save there. Hurdle and again, shooting, save, rebound. What in the world happened on that rebound? The second save. Did we make two saves there? What? I don't know what's going on. The, on the puck physics have lost their mind. So the patience by Hurdle to just wait before shooting it makes this an awkward save for me. It bounces off my body. Goes right in front. Benson and Morrissey are battling it out right here. And then I just end up like, I don't know what happens. Watch me. I just basically shovel that thing along. It just lays there and my guy punches it out to the corner so that was actually my goalie doing that foot sends it behind my net and i'm telling you i'm having a tough time getting out of my net quick enough to play some of these 
which may be for the better it may not be i wanted to make sure we got possession which is still a question as of as of the moment there but we do now have it d'angelo off to jarvis and a save by kakinen completely creamed in the neutral zone but that's going to lead to a penalty and they call this one an elbowing we we leveled Tara Vinen earlier in the period, and now we get Ward with a big hit, but this one actually leads to Coach Kaniemi going to the box. You're gonna see the replay. This was a splendid hit in my opinion. <laughs> All right, penalty kill, back to work. This could be our team's entire undoing right here. The fact we have to go to a shorthanded chance in, and we've taken, no, don't tell me. We're gonna go to a five on three. Now this could really be our undoing. This team really knows how to let me down in the most dire of situations. I'm telling you what, I'm really going to need San Jose to take a penalty while they're on this power play. I need some sort of reprieve because this is just not it. This is just not it right now. Oh my goodness, that, I wasn't ready to make a save on that, but I'm happy that I did. I'm going to take a collective breath for a minute because this is going to be... This could be either the longest or shortest five on three... Oh my god. And that's just that's just what freaking happens when you take dumb freaking penalties in the third period. You take two stupid penalties one after another to put us on a long five on three. I don't have any words for this. This is just nonsensical right now. We picked a really great time to be undisciplined. You, you guys really picked a stellar time to start taking a bunch of penalties one after another in a row. And it's, it's kept in. Of course it's kept in. Just kill it. Just kill it. What you can. This is ridiculous. The absolutely the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. I mean, I'm, I'm killing these penalties by myself at this rate. At least there's no Vladimir Tarasenko out here, I guess. We got to look on the bright side of life. And then we Eklund, who had the goal on the last one. And Tarasenko or not, there's a Tara Vinen. There's nothing I can do. It's a five on three. And I'm going to come out of this game with a negative in the line score. They, this team in front of me keeps taking these kind of penalties all season. I'm telling you what, there's only going to be so much of this that I'm going to put up with before I just freaking ask for a trade this year. I'm about freaking done. And this is just like game five of the whole season. This is like the fourth or fifth game of the year. And I'm already about done with this team. This is ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we basically, we lost the game in Buffalo because of penalties. We're on the verge of losing this game against San Jose because of, guess what, penalties, man. I mean, I'm the only one that's shown up right now in the third period of play. Whoever the general manager is, I'm, I feel like I'm about to walk right into your office after this game. I'm going to go upstairs because we're at home and I'm just going to walk right into your office and request an immediate trade. This is getting frustrating as all get out. And we're gonna score. I mean, I'm, maybe I, I might hold off on walking into your office. This stupid team, man. I'm telling this stupid team and the, the timeliness of their penalties as well. I don't even, I don't wanna think about what the line score is gonna look like coming out of this game, especially if we lose it. This game's not over yet, but God, the save percentage is gonna be horrific. It's just all going to be bad. Oh, I needed that save. I'm the only thing keeping you guys in the game right now. And you guys continue to just have one breakdown after another. Look at this. It's a three-on-one opportunity, and you pa you're passing it up. Why are we doing a stupid dangle like that on a three-on-one rush? Down a goal, getting close to five minutes to play. Genius tactics from the AI right now from my AI teammates. The penalties, the dangles that with no hands, hurdles walking out. I think we turned that away. Another save for me, good for me. We need, we need someone to get really hot right now and score a goal in a black jersey. Just get one, just get one. Oh, Spetch, rebound. There we go, we got one. We've tied it. That's a lucky break for us. It's the, it's the line with Andre Svechnikov. It's the only line for this team right now that is producing. I mean, the only thing creating is the Svechnikov line, the Natchez and Svechnikov line. I mean, I told you the scouting report on Kakinen. You get rebounds, you get pucks going to the net, you go to the net. That's how we scored the majority of our goals. We can easily get goals off of rebounds. I mean, just keep doing it. Now, I got to try and make sure that we, that we can 
secure a point, I knew that something was about to happen. I'm glad that wasn't a breakaway, but my god. Sharks are being quite aggressive with their forechecking. Druin should just punch this in. Just punch it in there to the net. Oh, they I'm telling you, this line will they will create things. They just needed to connect on that backdoor chance. I mean, what you guys really need to do, don't shoot for the corners on Kakanen. He's gonna make a save. Shoot low, shoot for the pad, make him force out a rebound. And if you can put in it, put the rebound into a prime area, that's even better. But just trying to create second chance opportunities. It's how we're scoring on Kakanen. And I'm who's gonna go who's gonna go on the boards? I want to make sure that the Sharks don't have a chance to get to this. And they have it anyway. They have it at center. In out to Tara Vinen. That should be dumped in by Tavo. And oh, I missed it. I didn't realize I missed missed the chance to play that. Oh, this is where it can really break down. I learned from the McDavid goal in Stanley Cup final overtime. <laughs> I'm glad that's helping me in a stupid meaningless regular season game it's not meaningless this is these are still big moments in the game oh my god where is it cover yes cover 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 T tell me i'm not playing out of my mind in this game considering the team and the circumstances against the 30th place league 